Ray Brown and I am back with another video. As you see by the title, you already know we're getting into today. So today we're going to be making a long blunt cut bob wig. I'm going to be making the wig. Before we get into this video, make sure you like this video, give smash that like button, make sure you comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to my channel on the road to 1K, y'all. 1K. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into this video. Today I'm going to be making a blunt cut bob wig. I'm going to be making the wig myself. I'm going to do it myself. I purchased this hair from the beauty supply store. I purchased two bundles and a closure. Um, I bought, now like I said, I bought this hair from the beauty supply store, you guys. And I literally paid $13.99. Y'all, and this is it's called Fat Factory Direct Bundle 100% Human Hair Unprocessed Natural Version. Let's open. Now y'all know I'm gonna give y'all the real tea on what is with the hair, has smell, if it doesn't hold up good. You know I'm gonna give you guys all of it, but the packaging is real cute. Got a little bow. All right, y'all. So this is what it's looking like. It doesn't have a smell. It has that hair smell. It's not no strong smell. You can see the brown in it. Almost like so natural. But look at that. The wefts. Wefts are really nice, y'all. Nice and thick. It's a 12 inch. I got another 12 inch. I wanted to get a 10 inch, but it didn't have a 10 inch. So... I'm going to have to cut it myself, but oh well. Same. Same smell. Nice and flowy, y'all. The wefts. Look at the wefts, y'all. Nice and thick. Now, I only got two because I didn't want it to be really heavy. I want it to be nice and flowy, soft. You know, that bounce in it. I got a closure. A, a Saga Popular 100% Human Hair Yaki Lace Deep Closure, y'all. This is a 5-inch Lace Deep Closure. Um, it's 100% Human Hair, and I only paid $17.99 for this. Your girl came up, so I, I didn't even spend $50 for two bundles and a closure, y'all. I need to go check out y'all beauty supply stores. See what's going on because you never know until you go see. I'm telling you. Because first of all, I didn't even know. I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know how much it was going to cost. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Yeah, definitely on the bleach the knots. But it still tastes color really good, though. Slap this bad boy on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The part is all the way back here, y'all. This is where it will stop. Yeah, I'm liking that. <laughs> this doesn't have a smell at all. This is nicely custom. You know, it's going to work. It's going to do. It's going to do what it needs to do. But you guys, yeah, so I thought I'm talking too much. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to customize. I have my mannequin head. I got my needle. I'm going to sew it in. I'm going to do a sewing because I want it to last. I was going to do a glue in, but then I was like, I want to wear this again. And I don't want to have to, you know I mean, glue it again. Plus, glue messes up a lot of stuff, too. So I was like, you know what, now nah, I'm going to just take the high road and, you know, use um, needle and thread. So let's get right into this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my wig cap and I'm going to put this on my mannequin head. I'm going to use both wig caps because I want it to be, you know, secure and actually last a little bit longer. So I'm going to start off by putting the lace closure on first. I would suggest putting the lace closure on first, you guys, because it gives you a map of where to lay your um, tracks at, well, your extensions. So I'm going to use T-pins to make sure that my lace closure does not move while I sew it down. And I'm just going to put it on the corner as you can see. And I'm going to put that on each corner. So the front, in the front and in the back. But right now you guys, I'm just showing you guys how I sew down my lace closure. I'm not a professional, so but this works for me. So hopefully it might work for you guys. But I'm just sewing my lace closure down. And I'm doing them close together. That way it becomes really flat you know what i mean like flat flat 
You're just going to go the whole way around until you make it to the beginning. Just to make sure you know that it's secured. Also, this is how mine looks. You want to get it something like this so it's flat, you know what I mean? It's not moving. It's nice and flat. You want that flatness. You don't want it bulgy. You want it flat. So now I'm going in with my bundles and I'm showing you exactly where I'm starting at. I put a T-pin in on both sides, but then obviously you take the T-pin out so you can start sewing. And I'm really not going to get into detail with, you know what I mean, making this wig because I feel like I can make a whole nother video um, about, you know, specifics. And I'm not, and let me just say, y'all, I am not a professional. I do not have my license, but I did go to cosmetology school, and, but you know that's a whole nother story but anyways guys so i'm just showing you guys how i do mine if you guys want a video on how i really do it you know just to really let y'all know exactly what to do then i will make that video for you guys but put that down below in the comments if you guys would like that video so just enjoy me making this wig and i will talk to you guys soon So this is what my wig looks like after, you know, sewing everything down. I think I did a pretty good job, you guys. What y'all think? I think I did a really good job. So once you get done making your wig, you want to take your wig off the mannequin head and you want to cut out where your lace closure is at because you don't want it to be black. You want it to be a natural scalp color. So you just cut that off. Make sure you get all the little pieces off, but make sure you do not cut the thread because then that's just going to take off the stitching that you just did and you don't want that. Stay tuned for part two of me cutting my wig. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.